Pulao's are something that we all enjoy and no matter what the side dish is, Pulao itself is a meal and today we're going to do a very nice and tasty gobi pulao that is cauliflower pulao. So let's get started and check out the recipe. I have one medium sized cauliflower. I've cut into small pieces. I've washed it with warm water. Next I'm going to season the cauliflowerets with half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon chili powder. Toss it all together. The reason why I have seasoned the cauliflowerets is to give the vegetable a nice flavour. Make sure the masalas coated the cauliflowerets nicely. Now keep this aside. I'm going to make the gobi pulao in a pressure cooker. Add 1 tablespoon of ghee, 1 tablespoon oil. To this I'm going to add the whole spices, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, whole peppercorns, star anise, maize and bay leaf. Add 2 medium sized onions, thinly sliced. Add 3 green chilies slit. Saute the onions till they are a nice golden brown colour. Once the onions are brown, add 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 2 large tomatoes thinly sliced and saute well. The tomatoes have become a little mushy. To this add half teaspoon salt. Add the seasoned cauliflowerets. The cauliflowerets has been sitting for about 15 minutes in the masala. So you can see it's coated beautifully. Next, I'm going to add some chopped coriander leaves. Finally, I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder. Mix it well. So you can see the masala is very simple. Something that you can make with very few ingredients. This is a very quick and easy to make pulao. I've washed and soaked 1 cup of basmati rice for about 15 minutes. So gently mix the rice along with the vegetable. So don't be in a hurry to mix the rice, you can break it. So just do it gently. So make sure after adding the rice, you reduce the flame. Now for 1 cup of rice, I'm going to add 2 cups of water. Close and pressure cook on medium flame for about 2 whistles. The gobi pulao is done. It looks absolutely delicious. It's cooked perfectly. Serve it hot with some nice onion raita by the side. So there you go, here is this absolutely delicious one pot gobi pulao. Now this is a very nice and quick recipe that you can try at home. And uh, so next time you guys uh, buy a cauliflower or have some gobi at home, do try this recipe and enjoy with some nice raita by the side or eat it as is. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 frames.